started, Honorable Wavinyan Deti in the house. Good to see you, madam. Good to see you, Jeff. Real quick, everyone wants to know, which party do you belong to right now? I belong to Wiper Democratic Movement. Really? And I'm a life member. Really? Yes. So why did IEBC annul your election? Um, what happened at the hearing? The registrar of political parties was never represented in the hearings. And who is the custodian of political party members? It is the register of political parties. It was just, you know, yeah. IBC should have just inquired okay, from see, the register. So you ran straight to the High Court. High Court has overturned it for now. Yes. For now. Yes. But there's a ruling, final ruling coming up. So the you, hearing. Uh, is final. The hearing is on Friday. But you are not out of the woods yet, is what I'm trying to say. Jeff, I'm a bona fide member of Wiper Democratic Movement. The records are straight. They show it. I resigned from the party on the 5th of... Uh, Those are the documents. 5th of April. Yes. And any member should resign from a political party one, 120 days before the elections. Okay. Uh -huh. I resigned on the 5th. Mm. I gave notice to my party on the 5th. And I joined Wiper Democratic Movement on the 5th. Or and this is the record from the Registrar of Political Parties. You know, okay. So what if the High Court rules that you belong to two parties? Jeff, there's no way I can belong to two parties. And there's no way the Registrar of Political Parties really can register two members. What are you going to do? I am a, let me tell you, you Jeff, uh. Jeff, I am a systems analyst. Okay? I'm a computer scientist by profession. Mm -hmm. Okay? There is no way a database, one database, can hold the same, you know there's a way you design systems. Mm -hmm. there's, not, there's no way the Registrar of Political Parties database can hold one person in two parties. There is no way. You have to belong to one party. And let me tell you something, Jeff. Eh? You know, I went through the process. I went to IBC. You remember? Mm -hmm. In Machakos mm -hmm. County, mm -hmm. I went there, and I was cleared by the IBC. Yeah. Before they clear you, they have to ensure all the records are correct. All right, let's listen to what, you. What, what, what went wrong? Let and they already cleared mm -hmm. me, although this is in the court, and I believe in our courts, and mm -hmm. I believe I'm going to get justice. Okay. I believe I'm going to get justice in the courts. Let's hear what you said yes. after that uh, e event. Go on, Monica, what do we have? Me. To go to wiper with a coalition agreement. Yes. Yeah? But there are people who felt Wavinia maybe was being favored by being given direct nomination, or maybe I was being given because I'm a woman. Were you direct nomination because No, Jeff. I was the party leader of Chama Chauzalendo. We started talks with Wiper some months ago. Wiper wanted me to move into Wiper Democratic Movement and work with them, which I saw so was good for the common good of our community. So what did I do? I went to my National Executive Council and told them what Wiper was proposing. And all these meetings we were going, we were going with the Secretary General, we were going with the Organizing Secretary, we were going with members of the National Executive Council of Chama Chauzalendo. Mm. So, when, uh, when, when we went to the party, I, we started negotiations with the members of the National Executive Council. Wiper, the party leader of uh, our party leader, now my party leader at Wiper uh, Democratic Movement, got a green light from the National Executive Council okay, to come and negotiate with Chama Chauzalendo, mm. which he did, and we agreed. And part of the negotiation was what? You become... Was I become the governor and wiper, because I was already running mm. as the governor, mm. candidate for Chama Chauzalendo. Okay? So we agreed. I come and run as a governor in uh, wiper, and wiper gives me deputy. Okay. And we signed an agreement. Yeah. We signed a okay. collision. So what is we signed, we yeah. signed a what collision. What is Kiala's beef with you then? Let me tell you, we signed a collision agreement. Mm. A collision agreement that was registered at the Registrar of Political Parties. Now, when I came, 
when uh, Kiala he was there in the National Executive Council the minutes are there he was in the meeting okay now when I became when, when I moved to Waipa he started bringing problems saying no 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 we must go for nomination and you know I have been campaigning mm. and I know my ground is good yeah. so for me I didn't see I said you know what eh? for him not to feel as if he has been uh, shortchanged for me coming to Waipa let us go for nomination and you went now as we were planning to go he went to court anyway and got a court order mm -hmm. saying that I should not be given he went to court and got a court order that I should not be given direct nomination now we came and agreed as a party let us go for nomination as we were planning to go for nomination and people were already on the ground voting he went and got another court order to stop the nominations okay yeah now that is why the, the elections were nullified yeah? yeah because of that court order correct and the, the nomination the party had already people had already started uh, voting okay so that was nullified right we went to court when we went to court I was told yeah when we went to court we were told to go for elections within 24 hours and the political party tribunal made it very clear because he was challenging whether I am a member of Waipa Democratic mm -hmm. Movement they made it very clear I am a bona fide member of Waipa Democratic Movement yeah. and that is why we were sent back to go and do the second and you won it again and I won it again okay, let when me I won it yes. again he still went to court okay let me ask you this 227,000 votes and change let is, me, is that realistic let me tell you Jeff why is it not realistic why did go got over 300,000 why is it let me ask you Jeff yeah. why is it uh, why is it that people can get very shocked when a woman gets over 270 something votes and a man goes there and gets 300,000 votes that's because last and, time, and nobody that's because last time 2013 when you ran against Alfred Mutua yes. you only got what 90,000 votes I didn't uh, let me tell you Jeff it what they, there were seven there were seven results from the IBC one was 96 the other one was 94 and I can tell you Jeff my votes were more than that I can tell you and I, I have no fear of doubt mm. I remember I was going to a church yeah. in Mwala and I have the recording until today Kiala was there Muhammad mm -hmm. was there he stood in church and said Wavinya we know where your votes were stolen and your votes will never be stolen again are, and okay. there are witnesses are you telling so me for me yes for me Jeff yeah. my election my election was stolen <gasps> and the okay. bygones are bygones yes Jeff we are not even looking at 275 eh? God willing I'll beat him with a whooping of a 400,000 votes yes so some people say critics they say that these most of these ballot papers were were checked in Nairobi let me ask you Jeff eh? let me ask you where were they Jeff if you're stealing let me ask you if you're stealing would you be taking yourself a selfie that person was taking themselves a selfie and then they come, mm. they come, they zero in, mm. they zero in, they zero in to where Wavinya name is mm. and then they tick. Come on, Jeff. Eh? Mutu wa kiiba, mm. ananda kujitangaza ameiba. Mm. You know, yeah. for me, if you ask me, in fact, when we are going for the second election, for the second nomination, mm -hmm. Kiala and his team went to, went to the, nini, to the wiper uh, where the board was. Yeah, and he came. He said, "Oh, there are people marking my ballot boxes." What? He came with the police. Police searched everywhere. There was nothing. You know, yeah. I, I think some people are just used to lying, so and that is part of their life. Are you saying the 227 was legit? It was legit, and I'm telling you, Jeff, by the grace of God, it is going to be more than that. The people of Machakos have spoken. It's not Wavinya who has spoken. Okay, let's go to uh, what you were watching last week when we yes. had uh, the incumbent. Dr. Alfred Mutua on the bench, right? Yes. Monica, let's see what... Uh, and I love your program. I always uh, watch Thank you. That's very kind of you. Yeah. Monica, just in from Wavinia and Dirty. Mm -hmm. She says, Jeff, tell him he will be shocked on August the 8th. Mm. I think I'll be shocked. I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm sh I'll be shocked. I think I'll be so shocked by how big the margin is that I've beaten her. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Jeff, zero chills from the governor. Zero chills. No, Jeff. If you look at it very, if you look at it very well, mm. 
Yes, he accepted that he shocked. And then he just went finished finishing with that. Yeah. But he's shocked. But we are not here to talk about him. No. No, today oh, let me ask you know, you let me tell, we are not here to talk but about can, him. Can you beat him? I know by the grace of God I'll be. He's the incumbent. Yes. People, uh, people think that it's he's not about Wavinya. It's not about Wavinya and Letty. It's about the people of Machakos County. It's not about me. And the people have spoken and the people are still speaking. It's not about me. And it is what he has not done for the people of Machakos County. What has County. he not done? Let me tell you, Jeff. He had. First of all, let me take you back. Eh? When, the county, when we moved into county government, there were about five uh, council, councils in Machakos County. Yeah, there was uh, Machakos Municipality, Mavoko Town, there was Masaku County Council, there was Tala Town Council, and there was Matu. There was Matu Town Council. Yes. All those councils were collapsed into Machakos County. When they were collapsed in Machakos County, where he lost the way, he took all the employees that were working in all those counties and put them in one department mm. which was the decentralized department mm -hmm. these were engineers these were very well qualified people and then what did he do he replaced them with the people who were working at his secretariat some of the people who got the jobs they do not even have the qualifications that is where he lost it you see there there was a loss of memo of institutional mm. memory you cannot do that you see even if you're going to get rid of people you just don't wake up one day and park everybody in one place you know there is a way of doing things so that is where he really made that is where the first mistake mm. was yeah there was no institutional memory in machakos county he could not even account for all the assets yeah and liabilities of machakos county mm. that is where he that is where he went wrong oh, okay yeah. let me ask you this and the other thing yeah is manifesto was, was of ambitious it was of ambitious mm. Jeff of ambitious how how do you tell people you're going to put for them shower in their own homes let me tell you which country Jeff you've traveled around the world just like me I went to st I studied in the UK I've been to US I've been, which government even the richest government have you heard them saying that we'll put showers in people's houses okay free plowing yeah mm. free plowing mm. yeah free chicks now these chicks, if you, you, you saw very nice advertise, ad advertisements in the TV, none of those chicks grew up to be full chicken. And these are, are, were programs yeah. that he did not even think of how they were going to be sustained. Oh, let me ask you this. When you have a yeah. program, yes. you must have a way of sustaining. Let me ask you let this me, real quick. I finish, and then also uh, airport. He promised people airports. Mm. He promised the railway, which was not even part of his whatever. And then the new city. Jeff is, his manifesto was over ambitious. Well, maybe he needs a five, another five years, but that's up to him. But the question I'm asking you is, what's the first thing you would do if you were elected governor? What's the first thing? The first thing I would do, Jeff, mine is water. And I'm not just talking like the way other politicians talk. No, Jeff. I'm a woman. I know how women have suffered in Machakos County. What I would do, the first two years, I would invest in water. I'll make sure I have mega dams in every sub location a minimum of three if i do that then i'll be able to give people he's water. doing the same thing he said he's built how many dams like seven or you eight know, or so? what you do jeff eh? go to the ground get the facts and the dam let me tell you like maruba dam mm. maruba dam jeff you see maruba dam maruba dam there was 98 million that was given to the sales Mar maruba dam there uh, the contract was advertised, yeah? Imagine it, is, it was evaluated on the same day and given the same day. And money, 98 million, was paid within, within uh, a, few, a, a few days. Mm. That is why, in the first place, the MCS were impeaching him, yeah? He gets 10, he, there is a 2 billion that is allocated on water in Machakos County. Yeah, 2 billion every year. As we talk now, what he has received, say 10, 10, 10 billion, even remove 2 billion because of this year. What can you show that is worth 8 billion yeah. in Machakos County? You want to say he hasn't brought water to the people? Is that what you're saying? He has done some boreholes. Okay? Some of the boreholes are not working. Some of, them are, some of them are working. But let me tell you, Jeff, if you're using water experts, the water table can only be 
to a certain level. Mm. You cannot have so many boreholes in one place. Let me ask you if this. you have one borehole, if yeah. you have, let me tell you, if you have so many boreholes yeah. in the same place, of course they'll get dry. Some of them have gone dry. Some of them have water. Some of them have water. Some of them have gone dry. Yeah. So if you ask me about water, uh, Jeff, eh? let me finish. Water, I'm t I told you I'm going to build mega dams. And with these mega dams, I'll make sure you also have t uh, an any treatment plants. I've done that in Earth River, and I did that in Kariani. I'll get to Earth River in a moment. But look, look, you have the largest river in Kenya flowing through your county. Yes. The largest river. Why do you people still have problems of water? Because people have never put their money where their mouth is. And Wavinya, my government will do that. If I do that, I will change my chakos. Why name. didn't you do and that when you were MP of Kathiani? I did that. Mwani Dam. I defeated Mwani Dam. You go to Kani. People from Makueni come to get water from the dam that I created for, for Nini, for people in uh, uh, Nini, uh, Kani. If you go to Mavoko, East African Portland uh, Dam mm. was defeated and the treatment plant was built during my time. Yeah, the, w if I was elected, I was also going to do the KMC dam. Jeff, these are things, these are things that I have done. And I'm not just yeah. talking. And the boreholes, the water that is being drunk in the river today, are the boreholes that I did as a member of parliament. And yet your party doesn't trust you, or there's so many, so much misgiving in your party. Which party? I'm, well, I'm, I'm a wiper. The, the, the other I party, am a wiper. wiper. I'm wiper. Okay. Let's listen to Senator Johnston Muthama here. Yes. Monica, let's go to the videotape. Is Iwavinya and Mutua ends up to be the two candidates to compete for the position of governor in Machakos. Then my position is that I don't want to be the senator of Machakos because that team I cannot work with either. That team I cannot <laughs> work with. I, he doesn't <laughs> trust you. <laughs> let me tell you, he doesn't have to trust me. The people of Machakos trust me. What, 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 the what, people, what? let me, it doesn't matter. It's just one person in Machakos County. Oh? Oh, yes. Okay, oh, what, yes. What, what about Nyenze? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Nyenze? Mufila? Nyenze? Nyenze is not from Machakos County. Nyenze is from Kitui. But he's from your party. None of them trust you. What has Musila said about me? What has Musila said about Wavinya? This, this let me ask you. What has Musila said about... Look. What, let, let me ask you. Yeah. Uh, Mudama had his own candidate. And you know I didn't come here to talk about them. But because they are not an issue. Jeff, Before you get you to the promised land, <laughs> yes. you have to go through these hurdles. <laughs> but let me tell Mufama you. Mudama is a hurdle me, to no, you. No, he's not. And Jeff, eh, I would like one day to just come in a caravan with me. We start from Mulolongo, we go and finish in Masinga. Is when you will know that it's not a hurdle to me. Really? Yes. Really? It's because not. back in Mulolongo, yes. remember the Mulolongo brothers? Mulolongo brothers. Yes. Mm -hmm. The controversy about land sold all the way to the airport, and you were blamed for it when you were MP. Let me tell you, Jeff. Have you ever been? Have you ever had Mushmoa Vinyandeti being taken to court for not selling yet. somebody? Not, not yet. Not yet. How many years now? Five years down the line. Some of these people who are sending you these things, eh, they are the ones who have problems, Jeff. You know, Mutua has gone to give land for Kimakimwe people. This Kimakimwe land, these people tilled, they, they, they were farming in that land. Even before the first governor, the Muzungu governor of Machakos mm. came. Because they live on the hills. That is where they used to go and graze their cattle. Okay? That is where they used to go and, and, and tilt land. For their for to sustain themselves. Yeah. He has given he has given that land free. I can even tell you there's a land in Mulolongo, yeah, that he has also given free. So you're About saying, you're saying anything, you haven't been corrupt. You haven't have, sold any land. Let me tell you, Jeff, I have never sold any land. I have never sold any land to anybody, Jeff. I have never and if anything, Jeff, I have more than enough to go looking for other people's But lands. people say even you misused your C D F when you were MP. Jeff, I was number one. Google Wavinya and Deti Kadiani CDF. What year was Jeff? That? Come on. I was Google. Google now. I was number one, Jeff, in utilization of taxpayers' money. So, whatever they talk, it's all lies. The people of Kadiani know. And I just showed you where I was yesterday. I was in Kadiani. Yeah, but Muthama, Muthama over there, you, saw, you heard that, right? W what is it about you he doesn't trust? Let me ask you. He has his own governor. He wanted to be a senator and a governor. You understand? He wanted to be a senator and a governor at the same time. And that is why he was fronting his candidate. But Jeff, you know today, me, I don't waste my time with them. Mm. 
you know, they have fought me, the three men, Mutua, Kiala, and Modama, they have fought me, but I know the fight is not mine. The fight is God's. Number one, I'm a widow. I just lost my husband the other day. Why, why is it? Ninini, Jeff, Ninini wanapigana nayo. Why are they fighting me so much? Kama mtu anasikia kwa grieved na wafinya, wafinya amefanya kitu, aende nini? Aende kwa chini. Hakuna kitu hapo, Jeff. You, you Sasa hawa na ume tu waambia wa Kenya shida yao ni nini, mm. Jeff. Let them tell Kenyans what their problem is. You know, you just mentioned something really uh, interesting there. You, yeah. you lost your husband. Yes. And Paul and Sarah, you lost your brother very recently. Yes. So two men in your lives in the space of a year. Yes. And you still want to go through all this madness? It's not madness, Jeff. It is what is in me. It is what God has put in me. I want to work for the people of Machakos. I work for the people of Kadiani, and I want, by the grace of God, to deliver for the people of Machakos County. I know, Jeff, God willing, if I become the governor of Machakos, it will be number one, real number one for real, because I'm going to work with the people of Machakos. I will deliver what they want. My plan, my development plan, I was structured according to their needs and not my needs, mm. not what pleases me. It is not about Wavinia. And again, let me tell you my history, Jeff, if you don't know. You know Mwendimbingu Street? Yes. You know who Mwendimbingu is? Yeah, your family. I know this. I, I did you know research. most people when they hear Mwendimbingu, yeah. they think it's Mwindi. 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 Mwendimbingu is my great-grandfather. Correct. Yeah? So what and are you trying to say? You're Mwindi Mbingu worked with my, with, with my dad was his secretary, although it was, he was his nephew. They, they worked together. Okay? So if it's about politics, yeah? Mm. Wavinia is not new in politics. I am born in that family. Yeah. And if you look at our history, Mwindimbingu delivered the kettle of the Kamba community from the Muzungu. You remember they used to come and take our, our yes. animals yes. and take them to the war? Mm. And now they said enough is enough. What did they do? Let me ask you this. Yes. You wake up on August the 9th. Yes. You've lost. Jeff, what do you I Jeff, I know by the grace of God, I will not lose. And Jeff, number one, I want you to understand this. I'm very well educated. I run my businesses. I've not been in parliament or in any government for the last five years. And Jeff, I thank God I'm doing well. And still smiling. Yes. Before we go to break, real quick, let me ask you. You supported President Kenyatta wholeheartedly. What went wrong? Why did you stop? I supported you. Yes, you, you, you were in support of him in the administration. When was that, Jeff? When he became president. He was the president of Kenya? Yeah. And everybody supported him? No, no, no. Let no, me no. tell you, 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 no, 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 you, Jeff. You, you, you Jeff, let's get, let's get to that. He was the president he, of Kenya. He still is. He is. He still is the president of Kenya. And he was elected then. He, and he still is the president. And everybody had to... Everybody, Jeff, when he became the president, Jeff, Jeff, when he became the president, when he became the president, he was the president of everybody. And I want to thank him. For sure, he gave me a job. He gave me a job in the Water Trust Fund. But I, I thank him. There are so many Kenyans. And I respect him as the president of the Republic of Kenya. He gave me the job. But I felt it would not be right for me to take that job, it was not going to help my community in any way. And I just said thank you to him in a very, in a respectable way, Jeff. Mm. I've never spoken about it because I respect him and I know he thought, he thought very well about me to give me the job. Yeah. I said no and I moved back to my community because I know the issues that my community had. One and if anything, yes. if anything, I used to advocate the issues of my community mm. and the problems that my community had. And I would walk into any office in his government if there were any complaints. Mm. And I don't want to say that I would not get any help. Issues including water, which is prime in your county. And then you walked away from this. Jeff, you see, when I was given that seat now, let me make it very clear to you, Jeff, in the Water Trust Fund. Can I tell you, that was the time when, when the, the current governor of Machakos was doing water mapping. Okay? He spent $300 million doing water mapping telling people that he was going to bring water to their homes. He used to tell, people used to go and ask, and the questionnaires are there, Jeff. Mm. At Umbayako Inakunya Majin, how much water does your dog, mm. your goat, 
your cow take and after that you give your ID you give your ID mm -hmm. and your name he was using people's names yeah. that was the, the time let me tell you Jeff I want to make that very clear yeah. that was the time that was the time when I got the job that is when he was doing water mapping and I knew maybe his excellency didn't know this I was being fixed because he spent 300 million he spent 300 million like the people of Machakos that he was going to give them water at Yanaenda anambia maji vijana wanachimba mtaro Jeff eh? Unaambiwa sasa maji itapitia hapa. Unaambiwa maji itapitia hapa ukiangalia nyuma hawakuonyeshi mahali maji inafanya nini? Inatoka. Mm. You understand? So for me Jeff in my life yeah. I always have to be very careful. I'm a woman and women are more targeted than anybody. Look, of all these issues, mm. why me? And let me tell you Jeff, I am not going to give up on anything for the sake of women of this country. I want every woman to always be strong and fight. Yeah. So that job, I've told you, I got it during that time. Mm. He's lying to people. He's getting money. I've told you he's getting ten billion. There's nothing would, he has done. Would, would There's nothing have, he has done with the ten billion. Your, would you have wanted to see your party leader become the flag bearer of NASA? Yes, I would have loved that. I would have loved. And you remember, Jeff? I used to say. Kalonzo number one, number two, number three, number four. And Jeff, let me tell you, eh, Kalonzo was not the only person in NASA then. There was Raila, there was uh, Kalonzo, there was Mudavadi, there was Wetangula. And then now Isaac came. Let me tell you, I had to fight for my party leader's place. And when I, because Mudavadi could have become the deputy, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Wetangula could have become the deputy. Isaac could have become the deputy. Yeah. Anybody else? But you know what? I ha we had to elbow. Elbow what? For yeah. him to become no, the bridesmaid no, no, again? No, 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 let me tell you. We had to get our space. Do what? <laughs> to become the bridesmaid? We, we not, we, he's not a bridesmaid. Oh, really? Jeff, come on, come on, come, come on. on. Come on, let us respect him. He's not a bridesmaid, Jeff. Okay. Why a bride? Is Ruto a bridesmaid? Ruto's DP. Yeah, but Kalonzo is going to be the deputy president of this Republic of Kenya. He's the running mate of Raila Amol Odinga. All right. Yes. On that note, we're going to take a break, come back, talk some more. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> By the way, Monica, do we have any new numbers? The question we've been asking you, would you vote for Wavinian Detti as governor of Machakos County? What do we have, Monica? Here we go. Uh, yeses are 58. Nose are 42. She's still way ahead of anyone we've ever had here. By the way, this poll is completely unscientific. It's just us throwing it out there. But hey. 5842. Keep voting. Polls haven't closed yet. SMS number 22422. You can tweet us at Wavinian Detti, at Kenanga Jeff, at Susan TV Kenya. Hashtag JK Live. JK Live takes a break. Plenty ahead. Don't go away. We'll be back in a moment.